Good evening. I have a fan going back there with the door open just to get the temperature down in here because it's uh, the sun was shining in through the big window there. And even though I've got um, Venetian blinds and I've got drapes, the sun really heated the place up. I've got the air conditioner going in the other room uh, and that should cool things down. Um, well, it's, I guess, almost summertime. In, we're into May now. And um, I guess I'm going to be trying something more summery to drink. Um, I've got here, this is another sample from Bimber. Uh, if you saw the last video, uh, Jason and I were at the distillery trying London vodka and rum. So I'm going to try vodka and rum right here in uh, the controlled environment of, of, of here rather than at the distillery. I find that I taste things better when I take my time here at home than when I'm out somewhere. Ooh. Interesting so far. I'm definitely getting alcohol. Now, does it say anything on this little bottle? This was not a part of the... Uh, if you look on the wall, right about there. That's the uh, case in which there were six samples um, of uh, new mix spirit and um, New mix spirit and, and um, cask aged spirit, but none of it was old enough to be called whiskey. I think the oldest thing in there was 30 months, not quite three years, so it wasn't old enough. This is the Bimber handcrafted London vodka, batch number 001 premium quality. Uh, and then there's a signature of our master distiller whose name is, I believe, wait, oh, that's not him, that's, that's somebody else. I'm sure, well, I don't have his card right here, but the master distiller. Distilled and bottled in London, yes, 40% alcohol by volume, 5 CLs. And London, it says on here, distilled and bottled in London, Bimber Distillery, and the address. Well, you can probably look up their website. I think they have a website as well. Get the last few drops out of there. Now, this might just be... Vodka is not my type of drink. Vodka is the thing that you chuck down fast. But so far, everything I've tasted from Denver is really good. This, I'm no vodka expert, nor am I knowledgeable about it. I think this is the first vodka I've ever tasted online, on a video. It's reminiscent a little bit of gin. Well, of course, gin is not much different from vodka, except it has those botanicals infused at the end. Now, if I'm wrong, please correct me, because I could be wrong on this. I, prof I say right now that I don't profess to know very much about vodka, except that it's distilled, zoomed, and it's bottled, and that's it. And usually it's made from potatoes, isn't it? ferment potatoes and then they distill it. You might hear the sound of traffic going by or maybe the hum of the fan. Sorry about that. If it's a real problem later on I'll just turn the fan off.
Mm. This is quite smooth. Practically tasteless. I feel a tingle on the sides of the tongue. That is probably a tingle from the alcohol. Don't taste anything really. No, don't taste much at all. Taste a bit of alcohol. A little bit of uh, could it be a tiny little bit of vanilla? That's it. Tiny little bit of vanilla. Vanilla. I don't know if you have a Chinatown where you live, but um, there are these uh, soft candies. They're called White Rabbit, and, and you, you, they're from China. And you get them. At, there's a little store in Chinatown where they sell those, or at least they did many years ago. I haven't had any White Rabbit candies in a long time, but this. Vodka. In the way of smell and taste, reminds me very faintly. Very faintly, it doesn't taste like much. I can just feel the alcohol, but I don't taste much. Reminds me of those uh, white candies. I'm going to put this glass aside. And I'm going to try now Bimber London Rum. And it's from, it's handcrafted, batch number one, premium quality once again, signed by the master distiller, 40% alcohol, 5 CLs, Bimber Distillery, address distilled and bottled in London. So London Rum. Actually, almost everything I'm trying tonight is from London, except for one. Because I do two or three videos in a row. Whoa. Put that sideways. It's a white rum. Would that mean that it's not aged? I guess it's not aged. Would it say anything about aging? Nope. I don't believe it's aged. White rum, I guess, is not aged. But correct me if I'm wrong. If it's white, I'm assuming it's not aged. So this here was, uh, I guess, it doesn't say anything about. Uh, Sugar cane or molasses that it was uh, distilled from. I don't know. I should have asked when I was at the distillery. Yeah, it smells like rum. It's a uh, A little bit sweet. Once again, I'm no expert on rum, but this does smell good. I've had a few rums, I've had a few cheap rums. I don't believe they were as good as this. This is also bottled at 40%. Did I mention that yet? question is, is this white rum a sipping rum? 
Like I say, it smells nice. It smells of... Like a sugar cane. It smells sweet. Sweet and a little bit smoky. Now it's not a peat smoke. It's more like a, a wood smoke. It smells a little bit like wood smoke, like a campfire. Very sweet. Sweet on the nose. Rummy. It's very pleasant on the nose. Very, very pleasant. I could become a rum drinker if I wasn't so heavily into whiskey and wanting to try every whiskey I see. Okay, I'm going to taste it. Hmm. Oh. Very smooth. With a slippery alkaline kind of feel. I'm tasting pears. Pears. But they're faint. Faint pears, that sugar cane again. Once again, a rather alkaline-y, slippery mouthfeel. Um, aftertaste of sugar cane. It's quite sweet. There's a lot of uh, there's some tingling on the sides of the tongue. I could get used to this. Mm. I really could get used to this. It's quite nice. It's not even aged. Well, I think I've gone on long enough, about 14 minutes on these two, and, um, well, slanchua. Or is it better this way? That's better. Food quick. 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 Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>